I welcome everyone to our YouTube channel AU Agri Organics. In this video we will see which fellowship is best for PhD candidate in agriculture. This video will be very useful to you in order to decide which fellowship will be useful for pursuing PhD in agriculture course. If you are new to our channel you can subscribe our channel. Our channel videos will be useful for agriculture education related videos especially for job opportunities and ICER exam preparation and other fellowship related videos. So you can subscribe our channel. In our channel daily there will be posting of research and questions in our community tab you can attend those quizzes it will be very useful for enhancing your knowledge as usual we conducted a polling in our whatsapp group which fellowship is best for phd i have given the options as icr srf and ujc jrf so most of the answers are icr srf only four members have voted for ujc jrf but in reality somewhat ulta okay, here we can see in detail about these fellowships before going deep into this video first we should know what is meant by jrf what is meant by srf First JRF means Junior Research Fellowship, next is SRF means Senior Research Fellowship. So it's Senior, it's Junior. You may think that this Junior Research Fellowship is for MSc student, that is for PG students. This may be for PhD student, but this is entirely wrong. So this JRF is for PhD student and SRF is also for PhD student. Then for MSc student that is for PG student what is the fellowship? In ICR for PG student there is one fellowship it is called by the name PGS. This is not postgraduate studies it is postgraduate scholarship. So for PG you are getting scholarship not fellowship that one you have to understand. I think so for this PG if you are selecting through ICR you will get around 12,500 rupee per month. So this is PG scholarship this is not JRF. ICR has changed that name from JRF to PG scholarship by the year 2018 or 19 but still everyone is following the same name JRF. I have uploaded many videos regarding that but no one is following so that is another matter we can leave that one. Next is some student will get 5000 rupee per month through ICR for PG it is known as NTS National Talent Scholarship. So those who not got this PG scholarship they will get this NTS scholarship. So this is for PG. Next we can come to this JRF versus SRF. So what does mean by JRF means for the first two years of joining PhD they will get one minimum amount. So that is known as this JRF that may be 31,000 or 35,000. From the third year they will get some amount. So it is more than this first two years amount. So that is called by the name SRF. For this they have to upgrade from junior to senior. So that is known as JRF and SRF. So I hope you may have understood what is meant by JRF and SRF. <laughs> now we can see what are the fellowships given by UGC. So what are the fellowship that I know I will tell first is UGC net JRF. Okay. Next is CSIR UGC net JRF. So it will be called by the name UGC CSIR net JRF. Next is NFSC, NFST, NFOBC. Next is single girl child fellowship. So these are the fellowship that I have in mind currently but some other fellowships also there. So you can get that fellowship also. What I am coming to tell from this video is suitable for all this fellowship. So here is the difference between ICR and UGC. So we can give one versus here for the first two years in ICR you will get the fellowship of rupees 31,000 per month. But in UGC you will get the fellowship of 37,000 rupee per month. So here itself there is a difference of 6,000 rupee. Next is during the third year you will get 35,000 rupee per month but in UGC fellowship you will get 3 to 5 year from third year to 5 year you will get 42,000 rupee here is a difference of 7,000 rupee per month. So another one difference you can able to see this fellowship is only for 3 years. Okay, with regard to ICR this fellowship is only for 3 years but with regard to UGC this fellowship is up to 5 years. For some of the students PhD cannot be completed within 3 years. So you can get fellowship up to 5th year. This is another one thing. Next is HRA. This is house rent allowance you may know. So in ICR there is no house rent allowance. But in UGC there is the house rent allowance of 3 types. One is 9%, 18% and 24%. So this is for no class cities. This class, this 18% is for X class cities and sorry for Y class cities and 24% is for X class cities. Cities such as New Delhi, next Bangalore, Hyderabad. So for example, if you are doing your 
PhD at IRI or some other universities at US such as US Bangalore or in Hyderabad such as PJT SIU. So if you are doing your PhD in those universities, so you can get the 24% HRA. If you are studying in Y class cities such as Coimbatore or Darwad like that, you will get this 18% HRA. Those cities that are not classified as X and Y class cities, you will get the HRA of 9,000 rupees. Sorry, 9%. For example, if you are at Namakal, so that place has not yet been classified into A class, sorry, X class city or Y class city. So you will get HR of 9%. So that is the difference of HRA. Now little you can come to a conclusion which fellowship is best. But here I will explain another one thing. So for the first year, second year, during the first term, second year you can consider this Y class city, you will get 6,660 rupee HRA. So totally 43,000, nearly 44,000. If you are belonging to this X class city, you will get nearly 46,000 rupee. So you can consider this one. Okay. But here you will get 31,000 only. So 15,000 you will get extra as compared to this ICR. Next is for from the third year to fifth year. So during this third second year, after completion of this second year, you have to upgrade to SRF. Okay. For the first two years, you will get JRF. This you may know. Next from the third year, if you are not belonging to any of those X and Y class city, you will get 3,780 rupees HRA, but you will get, totally you will get 45,780 rupees. Here you can see, only you can get 35,000. Next is Y class city, you can get nearly 50,000, 50K. Next is for this X class city, you will get 40, sorry, 52,000. So this is the difference between this ICR and UGC fellowship. From this, you can able to come to a conclusion which fellowship is best as per my concern what i heard from my friends or juniors or seniors what we are getting so this is one of the advantage and another one advantage of this icer fellowship is you will get monthly so if you are clearing this ugc netjrf or csir this fellowship you will get monthly so within 8th of every month you have to give this continuation certificate and you will get this fellowship then the procedure for giving this is not uh, difficult. It is only you have to get signed from this two. One is for HRA certificate another, and another one is continuation certificate. Three months once you will get contingency of 3000 rupees for this. From this third and fourth and fifth year you may get around 6500. And another one big advantage of this UGC fellowship is you will get monthly fellowship to your own bank account. It will be dispersed by Canara Bank portal, but you can have bank account in any bank. For example, I am having account in SBA, but some other may have account in Punjab National Bank. Some other may have account in ICICI Bank. So whatever bank, wherever you may have this bank account, that is the one of the big advantages of this UGC fellowship. But if you are getting this ICR fellowship, your fellowship will come to your university only. First, it will be dispersed by ICR to your university account. Okay then university will disperse to your own account so for this you have to have bank account nearby so for example if you are if you are studying at us darwat you have to have bank account of sbi branch that too you have to give only this sbi sbi branch of us darwat whatever may be the university they may have certain banks in their campus so you have to have the account of that particular bank only but with regard to this ugc you can have bank account in any bank at any place so that is another one important thing so here university cannot take your amount in some universities university is taking some amount but in this UGC fellowship, university cannot take any amount. So there may be some delay in disbursement of fellowship by the university to your account. But in UGC, there will not be any delay. There may be the delay of maybe up to one month, not more than one month. Compared to this ICER fellowship, this UGC fellowship will be better and best. So that is what I am coming to tell. If you have not got this ICER fellowship, you don't worry about that. You can prepare for this UGC fellowship and you can get more fellowship as compared to this ICR. I hope this video would have been useful to you. If you have not yet subscribed our channel, you can subscribe our channel. Thank you.